This is the story of a man named Stanley. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I had the game running at 11.45 last night. It has been running all day so that by the end of this stream, we will have every achievement except the go outside achievement. So we're Stanley and no one's around. We usually have so many friends here. Stanley went around touching <laughs> every little thing in the office. I forgot it, it did that. a single difference. He entered the door on his left. Oh, interesting. I guess we should go on the door on our left. How does it solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively, resent coworkers for not supporting you more. Oh, I... I was doing some testing around. I didn't realize that I was going to get rid of that. All right, so we got to go up to our boss's Coming office. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the <gasps> terrible truth the that his keypad keeping from him. I guess we're stuck here. I guess the game ends. Two, eight, four, five. Oh, guys, I just had an idea. Oh. Incredibly, incredible. Pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Can you go back up? Oh, you can. Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator <laughs> and went back up. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. <laughs> exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? <laughs> God, what a stupid game. You know what I have. You know what I have to do. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> don't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Oh, what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. <gasps> oh my god. It's the boss's office. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> we know what we have to do. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. <laughs> How did I not anticipate it? Come on. It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. <laughs> Though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well... I've gathered a little press conference for you. Uh -oh. So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. Uh -oh. Up again, <laughs> down again. <laughs> okay, it looks like they're oh, ready for no. you. Go get them. My true love for you grows every day. You make me feel alive. Your wife. From the apartment ending. The name's, the name's Stanley. It's nice to meet you. Wow, that was something. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We'll follow instructions. We have to get the normal ending. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? No! His emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Absolutely not. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Boop. Happy. Beep. Or sad. Bop. Or content. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone That's a good lesson for us all. What to do you don't need to understand to Whatever let something lives, go. It will be his. Stanley stepped through the open door. Complete the Stanley parable. Awarded for getting any of the other achievements in the game. For Stanley to take too much. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story <laughs> as, as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. 
That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> yep. You're right. I should I should let the narrator do his part of the story before we move on. You're absolutely correct. Uh I just got the we we disabled the jump achievement. Did I just did I try to jump? For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. But Hear me out. What if I became a tyrannical overlord? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Uh-huh. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that uh -huh. what you wanted? Control? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are sent to explode, eliminating the... Nuclear? Complex. How long until detonation, then? Let's say um, two minutes. I'm going to put some extra time on the <gasps> clock. Thanks, man. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. It's true, it doesn't. Oh, oh, Unison has taught me very Stanley. well. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. Hey, that was you're rude. still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. This is what running a D&D &D campaign box feels box like, in all honesty. You, you want control? You are powerless. You mean nothing to me. No end in here. Just you being blown to pieces. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. The narrator's a four-year-old with a magnifying glass and you are a button ant. It's true. But ants are many. And we will try again. Uh, Potato, I think I saw you mention uh, an AFK ending. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Ha! <laughs> he said comes! Oh, here it is. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for achievement? <laughs> Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? A true reward for valiant effort. I want to see... Give me Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Fine. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. <laughs> Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. We'll be back to you. Now, back to door number 437. Yes, sir. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? <laughs> Oh. All right, back to room 417. I'm really <laughs> feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Yes, this is great. Yeah, You're get fucked, 419. Stanley, I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine do that one again. He's about to bust so hard. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. You've today, come much further than me. Oh, my God! <laughs> Business strategy? There's a way to beat this trigger. Okay, I think we all. Oh! Weird. I don't know what that it, that effect is. I don't know if it's something you can do. But I remember that you could get out of that sequence by being fast. The only question is, what do I do now? Oh! We found something, boys. You are now leaving, guys. We did it. We beat the Stanley Parable. Escape Pod Bay, floor 760. You locked my husband in the boss's office? Yeah. I mean, he was just yapping, and I, I decided that I didn't want to listen anymore. I love yappers. It's because you're a yapper. Uh-oh. Talk less, do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception or promotion or recognition. Don't get fired. 
So we did the two that way. Through the large door that read Mind nope. Control Facility. I'm escaping. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Now hold on, Mr. Narrator. That seems like a threat. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. <laughs> nope. Still on board with death? <laughs> death? <laughs> the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I'd rather die than listen to you. Well, that looks dangerous. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> God, he's such an asshole. Picture. He resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Wait, who decides willingness? I decide willingness. I'm not willing. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body killing him instantly. It would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... You're not the boss of me. Only the narrator's the boss of me. That's where I thought it ended. I couldn't remember. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Stanley, to heaven. Guys, this is truly the greatest feeling. Pushing buttons forever. You cannot contain me! You cannot placate me with buttons forever, game! Release me! Release me! Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, God, had he taken that risk? When, the, when this game was written 10 years ago, his competitive boss, job his economy, and now look at us. Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <laughs> down? The doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing? Just, uh, Krieg the Psycho, GET OUT OF MY HEAD! <laughs> ...being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Someone, wake me up! My name is Stanley! This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. So if Just I a matter of time. recall correctly, I think that's everything down the left path. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Absolutely. I think I'm going to enjoy it a little so longer, actually. Captivating ...that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Hold on. There's one thing we need to do. I actually don't remember how many times I have to push it. A lot. A lot. Eight. So, chat. <gasps> we got it! Eight! See, it was all worth it in the end. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stand ah! The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And aha, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room. Guys, we did it. That enhances your perception of the value of these. Yep. Isn't this is the most friend? valuable thing. New content. Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. I'm glad it's I found it. It's a secret that's just for you. 
That's how special you are. Oh, thanks, man. We call this track. Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. You did it. Good job. You did it. You did it. Good job. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, you walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. You're not the boss of me. I'm not part of the system, Stanley man. He didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Mm. Left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. No, 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 no. This isn't <laughs> right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick step. Guys, Social spoiler alerts. alerts. Okay. From the top. Yeah, Kat, you, you mentioned this earlier. Stanley. Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? I didn't touch anything. Ooh, Cat, did you touch something? Somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. To restart the game again? Yes. Well, okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I'm remembering this wrong. Let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Dude, just admit it. We're lost. We need to ask for directions. Do you remember, Stanley? I wasn't paying what attention, honestly. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Woo! We won, boys! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Huh. All right, I've got a solution. Do this you now? To make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. The line knows all, guys. We do not deviate from the line. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to love. I agree. Bum, 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 ba -da! Wait, cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stand oh. This fern will be very important later. That's in the so story. good to know. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. All right, chat. Remember this fern. It's very important. We're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Yeah, Line, what the fuck? Oh, no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you... Yeah, Line! Everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the Line from having any role in our awesome new story. No Lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. <laughs> it's TM. I love the vibe that he's like building a pillow fort with his friends. Like, nah, we don't need you. No girls allowed. All accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Oh, Our I'm Stanley, so glad that's what that was. Destiny awaits. After a long time, Stanley dies. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? And the timer to stopped? Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift. Five thousand dollars to jump off the lift? <gasps> Guys! It's the adventure line! Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Ayo? It's life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> no, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. Welcome, Raiders. We're watching Just a helpful instructional it's the video. the best part of being a real person. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. That's too many. Do you make more than eight? Less. Less. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. Absolutely way, not. Please, just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Yes, sir. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Now, narrator, I have to ask, how much do you pay me? Oh, nothing. 
That's so interesting. That then it sounds like you're not the fucking boss of me. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? <laughs> what did you get out of that? What did you think was so? Smart? I had a I giggle. I'm dumb. Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth it. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do? I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Bye bye. Guys, it was a shitty game anyway. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. <laughs> you would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. He entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> behave exactly as Stanley would until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Night Shark! Night Shark 115! Please! Please let me in! You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the <laughs> door on his <laughs> What a fucked up game, dude. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Yep. But in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Cut the bread. Oh, tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Got him! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From yeah, with an adventure space, line. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. And hidden facilities. Discoveries of new lands. Tell your, your wife you love her. But there is no oh. answer. How could there possibly be? No press Q to question nothing. I suppose I can't. He's well, brainwashed. Him. Maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. You can certainly try. I'm pretty stupid. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Someone you've forgotten about. Really? I yep. was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Fuck Are you, you. That convinced that I want something bad to happen to yes. you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. Is this what you had wanted? Was yes. Worth I'm so the happy. Story I had written Absolutely. Fuck your story. For you. This is how this is how running a game as a DM in is. The end, it was all for nothing. Because nope, this not for nothing. For my enjoyment, not help yours. Me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. I'm so good at this game, guys. Oh. Have I soft locked? I feel like that should have opened. Um, help! Stanley, if you're out there, can you hear me? You know what? I gotta know. I don't know, but I need I need something new. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Yay! Parable Yay! All right. What? All right, let's see you <laughs> The jump circle? Uh-oh. Oh, guys, jump has been enabled. Oh, this is what the game needed, guys. This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect <laughs> for their fan base Christ. watch a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Okay. You've never steered me wrong before, except that one time you tried to kill me. Just our what? little secret. In God's name. This is definitely not something I've experienced before. So I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. 
That's amazing. Like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. That's so dorky and adorable. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally I do launched. remember, narrator. Yeah. This is adorable. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk. Now, just like Blizzard Entertainment. <laughs> With an hour of new elevator content. I love how this game's extra content is just the game jerking itself off about being so amazing. Steam reviews. Steam, the online video game distributor. Oh no! Looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? I'm sure not. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. Real. His humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Real. Unfunny. Unfunny. Funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. Someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Preachy! I'm not preachy, am I? <laughs> I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the This push dude of a got an anti yap button. button. It's what the players have been asking for. I 245. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes. Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? There's only I one way out. One can enter a room without a door of some sort. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. You see a window anywhere? Stanley, please Hi. don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And for two weeks, I've been oh sitting. Oh, God. Right this one's actually kind of scary. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear. I stopped keeping track after a year. It's my entire life. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> I hope he cries. Yeah. Hey guys, the carbon monoxide detector's going off. Where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned his screen. <laughs> they gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. Never the end is never Jesus. the end is never the Christ. end. Never... He's finally given up on us, boys. He abandoned us. Instead of finding a solution, he left us here to die. Oh? But what a metaphor for life. Through our suffering, new things grow. And potentially new paths emerge. And just as new things grow, they are instantly destroyed. Let that be a lesson to you all. Goodbye, Button. You've been our only friend for thousands of years. Guys, we're free. I don't know where we're gonna go or what we're gonna do, but god damn it, we're gonna live in this economy. <laughs> No, maybe not. You left me to die, you asshole! That's I mean, from his nonsense. point of view, you left him to die? That's true. <laughs> 427. The end is never the end up. again. Why That's actually good advertisement. They're back, two doors. That's great, franchising. I like that. The Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to Stanley Parable 2. The reassurance bucket? I've never needed something more in my life. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, the bucket is Please, I'm begging you. Come on, give it a try. Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. But <laughs> happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. God damn it. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. They want to be individually recognized and validated as people. I desperately so require validation. Mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to okay, really simulate got it. the first right, Let's take it in, take it in. Jim 10 Gaming. Name. Step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> Yo. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. See. What a thrill. What a How rush. does the game know what my name is? I'm so glad that we took our 
our time to do that. Free new and easy achievement. It really works. Pull lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps. Sounds good to me. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will Come exist. on! Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. The infinite hole? You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. It's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the whole. Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat in your suit. <laughs> Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. The just the way. two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. We know how this game goes. We know what this game is about. Oh, for heaven. You see? I was right. The problem is you. <laughs> You're goddamn the right. The problem is that you like holes too You're much. You're goddamn right I do! And I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Right. But here's the thing. Every hole is a chance for glory. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. <laughs> How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with hope. You're goddamn right! I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? What? Oh, guys, it do go down. Guys, we found it. The secret ending. This game is so fucking stupid. Change your perspective. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, this one's great. I love this one. <laughs> Guys, I think we're finally losing it you really truly focused on the hole from the looks of things you could never deviate my attention from a good hole mostly mostly infinite hole can't go wrong with a nice fresh hole you're goddamn right settings world champion collect them all oh uh, my goodness collectibles now it's a real video game what Innovative the is fuck that no is that jesus Fucking Christ. <laughs> Here it is. Oh I no, it's gonna be so bad. The Stanley Parable 2. Um well, I, I mean there's potential here, right? Stanley worked for a company. Oh, the fucking Italy, balloons. I'm so angry. Point. Stanley decided to go to <gasps> Yes! <gasps> oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly <gasps> deep and lasting. Never! Lives. That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? I fucked this so bucket. So and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which Never. happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Yes! Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. This is the Take best game ever. Broom closet. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? <laughs> <laughs> because the sticker is also a bucket. Uh, are you, am I out of dial dialogue? Uh, I'm out of dialogue. But I got stickers from my bucket. You guys got a shit bucket? Oh! I found one of them. 
one of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Stepping in. So is it just the same except for the fact that now I have a bucket? That's what it seems like. Thank God I have this bucket. I don't know what I would do otherwise. No. 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 We can leave to. <laughs> Jesus. We can leave together. I hate it. I shouldn't have come here. I, I've made a mistake. No. There's enough room. We can make it together. Stanley, please. Stanley, no. Stanley! Perhaps he had said Figure in finders room. committee. No, 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 the bucket's gone! There will be a reward. Guys, it's the Peter fish all over again. Somewhere both red and blue is at the bottom of the stairs. Was there somewhere else that had a fireplace? Oh. Another miniature Stanley figurine. There was a composer, <gasps> perhaps. And a Replacement bucket! And try not to lose this one, too, you dolt. That's mean. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. <laughs> a cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. On the wall, you see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? No, I have the sticker. I know exactly what a bucket is. This oh, God. Everything will I didn't realize there was going to be a test. Is or is not a bucket. <clears throat> what the sticker? The sticker. Yes. The sticker tells me that this is a bucket. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an <laughs> The sticker says yes. Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Bucket? Yes. <gasps> Yay! It doesn't match the sticker. It doesn't match the sticker. It doesn't match the sticker. Correct. Yeah! And not a bucket. Fuck. Shh. No. It's a tractor. It's a tractor. Incorrect. What? This is a bucket. Why? It matches the sticker. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Oh, that's reasonable. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship. No, around. no, not the bucket. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets. No, please. I'm not strong enough. Okay. No, are. no, 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 please. No, 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 please. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Oh, <gasps> everything's a bucket. Everything a bucket? And we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. Nah. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? So I went through the blue door and then the ga uh, the game soft locked, right? So I'll go through red and then we'll come back. How are how are the rest of you guys feeling, you know? Are we enjoying ourselves? I am. I've got 12 lovely people in chat. All of you super generous and super kind. This is the strangest game ever. Yeah, it is a strange game, but it's it's good, so much fun. Good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just just stay here. 360. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? What a pathetic my little God. whimpering. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? Make him whimper more. <laughs> yep. Like the pathetic so beast he is. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Gimme, 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 gimme. You're getting close now, Stanley. Oh, you're You've close? Really gotten all of the Figler and Marines. The office had begun. She was so far off the beaten. Ah, 
that it's seen the opposite. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? <laughs> you try That's a good that gag. All the back and forth between you and me. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Yeah. I'm pretty awful. That's an ending. That's funny. I don't think I've ever found that one before. Express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one. A one. <laughs> what a piss, that? baby. Feel motivated to keep walking through doors again. Honest answers. Absolutely. Please. There's no way it's soft locks again here. Is this ending bugged? There's absolutely no fucking way. Uh huh. Purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. <laughs> if at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately. Okay. And cease all flow of information. I can't turn it off, message. guys. I can't turn it off. Your perceptual sphere. No, no, I'm not listening. And have a pleasant day. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, I mean, currently I've been streaming for four hours and 17 minutes, so... And now you've come to see what happens in this one. And for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. Oh! The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Oh! Of the countless wars it witnessed. What the fuck? The land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. And the bucket's own complicity therein. Of sadness. This is regret, too and the many fucking. Years spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay. No. Stanley screamed out loud No. Stupid. You are a bucket. This is so stupid. Why are we even doing this? We would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. Guys, I'm speechless. When I bought this game, I knew there was going to be new Come, stuff. Let's this is not what game, I expected. And we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. He did it all day in a meaningful way, but his brain had long since. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot Which about this poem. This I don't know if you guys heard the Steam achievement pop a minute ago, but I got the commitment achievement. Because it would allow us. <gasps> Stanley, we must move on from this moon <laughs> closet. Simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. Yeah. But alas, no stickers. Come on! I was gonna say, I think the last one was just and stairs. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Stiggly Wiggly! This is a real accomplishment. The real bucket was inside <laughs> of him all along. Oh no, oh dear, not the cum bucket anything but the cum bucket. It's too late. The cum bucket. <gasps> what I'm the sorry. fuck? I'm oh my god, my things. brain. Just I was time. not expecting to come back here. When Stanley found the collectibles. Aw, white jump scare. We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again. You're seven of six. <laughs> but you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Thanks, man. I'm mundane and unremarkable. Science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Oh, is that true? <laughs> Guys, tell me about Let's your see. third time okay, eating waffles. Oh, yes, you remember your third time people. eating waffles? Oh, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh my god. Holy shit. The 4x3, the old YouTube style. This is this is actually nostalgic. Yeah, the Microsoft Movie Maker. Oh my god. You are in the present. <laughs> And then oh, God. there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video? Uh, I can't die. I actually tried to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love that video. What else is there? What came before this? Uh, me. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, Aww. even if he was a fiction. And give Stanley one more run of the office, and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy Aww. telling this story so very much. That's cute. Okay, here we go.
This is the story of a oh, man named Stanley. That's cute. I like that a lot. Oh! Speedruns. I think that was good time. Because we got the blue hallway, um, this should be the speedrun if I don't fall off. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place Okay, hold? hit the first one. Stanley, the in the building. Come on. His co-workers. Come on. The lives of so many individuals Fuck. images on a screen and Stanley, one of God. them, eternally monitored in this place. Fuck. I don't know if we're going to get it. Stanley oh, I got the speedrun achievement. So, with as long as you hit the first um skip and get the short spawn exactly you can way. get the speedrun right achievement now, cool cool thing. set all setting sliders in the menu to all the available numbers oh there's the sliders achievement uh we're now going to set reset settings so this should be the uh welcome back achievement oh enter the current time 11. Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you boot up the game. That's how I know that you care about the experience you're playing. All right, welcome back. Quit the game and start it again. So it's just how do I get the test achievement? Here either. Feeling <gasps> Yes! Stanley decided to go up to his Guys, boss's office. It was all worth it in the end. There. We're gonna get the most coveted ending. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I'm quite content. Maybe to you this is somehow its own <laughs> Maybe you go talk about this with your friends. This may say, be one of the oh, greatest lines of dialogue. Get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Guys, is the broom closet ending your favorite? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. You're goddamn right. So I was looking up the last achievement. Um, apparently, there's a bunch of intro dialogue that occurs, similar to the one that we just got for the clock that needs to occur before we can get the ending. My favorite time is actually 1207. That is when I was born. But we've gone through all the sliders I have. Perhaps I can invent some new sliders to get new data on you. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a couple new ones. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Please adjust the slider until the dog and the cat are friends. Oh, that's adorable. Please don't adjust the slider. Okay. Fair enough. Do you know what time it is right now? I do. <laughs> Guys, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> you won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games are meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? That's maybe the only information I really learned about you. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a t little time before I'm, I'm ready for that. It's not really my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again if you can find me. Talk soon. Many, many years later. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but like, yeah, that I forgot we were here. Wow, I was not expecting this. Oh, it's the memory house! But I also saw this and I need to check it out. <gasps> In my bucket! <laughs> Guys. It was worth it in the end. Today is a joyous day. The fact that the bucket is here with us, this is true ending. Loving memory, the Stanley Parable 2. Cookie Nine's blog. Must say though, I found the bucket to be quite comforting. A welcome reprieve. <gasps> Buttons. Jim? Jim. <laughs> Jim. 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 Stanley Parable developers, no more spin offs, no more sequels. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> 
26 is a weird number, but I'll take it. This was a triumph. <gasps> Hi again! It's nice to see you. Let's run this franchise into the ground. Let's drag it through the mud and back. If people hate it, who cares? Together we are going to make Stanley Parable 3. It's simple. All we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also need a really dumb subtitle for the game. Something loud and gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Curse of the Tuesday is actually not bad because we've, you know, we've been streaming for five hours and ten minutes. Like, this is the whole point. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of, of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to ha have a say as well. Why does this feel so important? Sometimes we're not ready to move on. That's fine. If you ever change your mind and want to start inventing new sequels, come talk to me. I'll be right here. Do I have to do that again for the achievement? Are you fucking kidding me? Please tell me I don't have to do that again. I am pissed. Chicken? I mean, that was my honest answer. Should we just recycle the same thing over and over again? No, sometimes it's okay to let something go. It doesn't need to be better. It doesn't need to be different. It doesn't need to be superficially changed. It's okay to say that something is complete, but if that's not the answer he wanted, then that's not the answer he's gonna get. Activision will never let that happen, real. Okay, now we, we answer positively. We affirm. Oh, hello. You're back, it's good to see you again. Did you reconsider my idea for inventing new silly subtitles like the Stanley Parallel Nonsense Chemicals? Would you like to start doing that? Sure. It's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. You know what? Since you put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you that broken achievement. Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're gonna keep this train rolling. Stanley Bearable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. <laughs> oh. You can tell that this was such a, a such a passion project. Oh, we also unlocked the um the slider master uh door. I wonder what's in there. So my question is who who is the computer compared to the narrator? Oh, is it gonna make me wait? Oh, we'll wait. I would like to end the game with the bucket. So settings world champ, we did unlock this, so I would like to take a look. Aha! I can see you've gotten Jesus the setting world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the settings menu. You're the There's champion of setting all those sliders to all possible numbers. Please so, enjoy this room. This is your room. It was made just for you. Parable, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? You've got the achievement? Composure? Composure? <laughs> Breathe? Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. 10 of 11 achievements. I complete basically completed the entirety of the Stanley parable in one sitting. Starting today, I cannot open this game for 10 years. So I'll be 36 when I can open this game again. And you know what? I look forward to it. If I'm still streaming at 36, you know what? We'll stream it. <laughs>